If you're watching this video, then you've navigated to the module two folder. And I just wanted to give you an overview of what you can expect inside this folder here. So in the uh, module two introduction, the module itself is called the web. And there is um, a lot of material already in your book, but there is some that is not on developing web pages using HTML. So the resources that you have available are going to be here in Blackboard. And I wanted to draw your attention to the schedule first. So in the schedule, if you look at the module two assignments, you're gonna have the reading, the training videos, and the practice quiz, just like you did in um, module one. The dates for the module, we start Tuesday, September 8th, and this goes almost two weeks to, two, to Sunday, September 20th. So you'll have uh, that full time to complete the reading, the training videos, and the practice quiz. There are four additional assignments here, and they are HTML assignments. I have a lot of information on each of these uh, in Blackboard. So the first two are due on Sunday, September 13th. The second two are due on Sunday, September 20th. So I just broke them up so that you could um, manage your time. The other thing I wanted to draw your attention to is the module one and two quiz. So we'll have that on, available to you on Monday, September 21st and Tuesday, September 22nd. And I'll put together some review materials and make those available to you before those days. Okay, so black, back to Blackboard. The next item in your list is the presentation. And again, the presentation are just my notes related to the chapter. The reading in this folder, you'll find direct links to each section of the chapter. Now uh, the HTML folder. So this first one is HTML lesson videos, resources, and sample files. So click on this link. And right now I have lessons zero through four. These lessons cover the first two assignments. I will add to them by the end of this week for the second two assignments. Okay, so watch these videos. I tried to give you time frame just so you could manage your time on how long it would take to watch them. Uh, and it explains the tools we're gonna use. It explains what HTML is and how to create your first page. Here in the resources folder, I do explain what's in this folder in lesson zero. So you can click on the folder and you'll see there's some tools that we're gonna use. Uh, I also include a how-to on submitting your assignment in Blackboard, what to do. Okay, back to the folder. So that's the two HTML assignments. Those are for grade. They will be in this folder here. So watch your videos on the lessons. And then uh, you can go ahead and get started on your two assignments. I will add assignments three and four by the end of this week, as I said. Okay, and then the last two links here, these are for the training videos, just like in uh, module one, so approximately 10 minutes, and there are some questions at the end uh, of each video. And then the practice quiz, this is 35 questions, so you should probably plan to spend about 20 to 30 minutes on this. Um, you can take the quiz a total of two times. So once you make your way through the quiz once, click on view report to see what you got right or wrong, and then if you would like, you could launch it a second time and take it again if you don't like your grade. Remember, that one's just for practice. Okay, one thing I wanted to show you, at this point you should um, have navigated through MindTap and in your book, but I wanna show you some uh, resources you have available to you. So if you click on your book and launch your book, takes a minute, I know. So you can get to the chapter here, right? Module two, and here's all the reading, here are the assignments, but you can also get there through the full book. So over here on the right hand side, click on full book, uh, expand it so it takes up the full screen and click on table of contents, navigate to module two. Here it shows you a table of contents that is a link to every item in the um, chapters, which I like it a little bit more. It gives a little more detail. You know what you're gonna be reading, right? It gives you some information. The other thing I wanted to draw your attention to so you can close out of this is the flashcards. So right here, if you click on flashcards, 
uh, click in this list and grab the right module. Notice that you have a total of 75. Click on it, you'll get a short description, right? Click on next card, etc. So this is a, a really nice tool as well. Okay, so hope that helps. Please look through the materials uh, and get started. And if you have any questions at all, just let me know.